Hey, so I decided uh, to pick like a random discussion here, a beginner dis discussion, and I just solve it real quick. So he mentioned he wants to create a coloring book app where users can choose an image and color it in. And yep, and so Moses uh, shared this hub dev link for flutter drawing board yeah it's pretty cool because basically they give you the JSON drawing content in JSON and with this if I understand it correctly you can um, basically like save it on your back end or locally wherever and then uh, repaint your image that way you can edit it um, edit the image again you just need to reuse the original image of course um, yeah, with other image like editors, I guess you could say. Um, basically, after you just save the whole image with the edits on it, and so you can't really edit your previous um, alterations. So, yeah, that's one cool thing about this. But I won't dive that deep into this. But yeah, this looks pretty straightforward, though. Um, of course, you just um, add the version and everything, but you're at, you'll add your import. Um, and this is like the basic simple example. So they have a background, which is any widget. So you can use like the widget builder on a flutter flow. I think that's what it's called. I forgot. Yeah. And then these just show like the actions and yeah, you just add this to a custom widget. It looks pretty straightforward to me. So we'll do that real quick. So if you go to this custom, code uh, menu item click add widget I'll just do image painter and then um, I guess just for a parameter we can just do image URL or image they have image path but I haven't really used that so I'll just go with image URL for now I think it just lets you choose any image path, <laughs> like network image, uh, image is set. I forgot. So for now, just for this example, I'll just do this. And yeah, so I'll actually, we'll just make this. We won't make it nullable, just so uh, we need the image URL, of course. Please, we may have to require this. Yeah, so, yep. And then we can keep container, just as like the top level, I guess. Yeah, we need to set the, um, I don't believe they give you an option to set the like width and height here, which those are like default parameters, the required parameters and uh, for widgets so yeah we would need to set that here with um, widget dot width then height is similar widget dot height and then a child will I forgot I should have copied it let me see we'll just copy this Um, oh, I, yeah, I added it here <coughs> already, but yeah, you'll just add, so I'll just show you how to do it. It's going slow. <laughs> so yeah, you'll just copy here and then we'll paste it here and then we just need to import. So, so yeah, that's. You just click on the installing tab here. And I always add it under this. They said do not modify above the code. So I don't know if they actually <laughs> will remove this. I've never tried it. I just put it here. And yep. That should be good. Oh, we need to move, change this. So I believe it's image.network. Just save it to see. 
save it, then I press the compile button. Um, that just checks for errors and stuff before we run it. And yeah, we'll see from there. But yeah, he said that he wanted to allow the user to choose the image. I guess you could have like a gallery of images that have images already. Maybe you uploaded them, you let them upload the image, then you save it. Or I, you can have a local too, and you'll just do image dot set here instead instead of network. Or this could be, or they have the image path thing. I might play with that later, but I believe that lets you choose any image. Um, then you'll just have uh, you'll just need like a a ternary operator or if statement like above here check uh, if it's a network image I don't know if they have certain like properties to check that for you it's not a simple way I just check HTTP um, yeah but it's probably like better check for that but yeah so yeah what is run this now oh I <laughs> <laughs> I didn't add it to anything, but okay. Wait, what is it? Okay. So I have this home page. We'll just click up here. Image painter, and then I guess I'll do a hundred, a hundred. I click percent. But we'll see what that does. Oh, and then we need to set the image URL. I don't really have an image. Do I have mine still? Okay. Yeah, so you click download, click this. I always get the small one. I didn't mean to actually download it. Shout out Alexander. <laughs> I always want to give attribution, so I don't know. <laughs> this is for an example, but. Let's shadow that. Uh, you could probably see the URL here. I'll put it in the description or something. And then, yeah. So that should be good. Okay, actually, one more thing we should do is click on Image Painter. You can either click on it through the widget, widget tree or this here and just make it expanded. Yeah, you get this option anytime you have uh, a column or a row. Yeah, otherwise you can use like flex or whatever. But so yeah, and we'll save that, and I'll just run it again, or run it. I don't think I ran it before. But yeah, so I might just do like a series maybe. Or I just saw uh, beginners ideas or issues maybe I don't know if it's simple enough I don't want to <laughs> do yeah I guess yeah I can do like basic simple things like this at first and if um, I guess people want me to go more in depth I'll put it on patreon or something like for example I might do that. This one seems kind of fun to do, like uh, where they let you save the JSON of the edit. I'll do a video for Firebase, saving it to Firebase and Superbase. And then, yeah, just letting you re-edit the picture. Yeah, so let's see. So we do get the tools. But it doesn't seem, I can tell they're there because I get this little hand thing. I don't know if we could change the colors or whatever. Yeah, we'll just, okay, I'm drawing circles. What is the drawing thing? So this works. It's going a little slow. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm on the web. But if on the actual device, it should be faster. I don't even know what this is. Maybe it increases the size of the, uh, the stroke. Where's the eraser? Oh, they have undo, redo. There's everything. This might, I don't know what the band aid is. Is that erase? Let's see. 
I'm just sure you don't know what that is. But yeah. So yeah, that's it for that. Um, I'll put the code. I don't know where I'll put it. I'll link it in the description. And yeah. Thank you for watching.